picked up this telescope on a whim. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, I'm just gonna buy a telescope because I'm old enough to throw money away on a toy, basically. I pointed at my backyard and I saw, immediately saw Jupiter. And Jupiter was just incredible, you know, just uh, right away you see these cloud bands, you see the moons dancing around it. It's just this incredible sight to see with your eyes. I tried to take a picture of myself and it didn't work. Um, and then, you know, I'm doing some research online and I figured out if I have a DSLR and I can get like a little adapter and plug it into my telescope and do a long exposure and then I could see like faint things. So I pointed it towards one of the only things that only deep space objects I knew about the sky and that was uh, the Orion Nebula. Places of actual resistance. Because back in the days, like when indigenous populations, when colonization was happening, they were getting pushed further and further back. This is the place they came because the Europeans had no idea what to do with this, right? They had no idea how to live. In the days where there were slaves, people would run away. There were a whole maroon, what they call maroon colonies of mixed people that made their life out here and lived out here. And a lot of the people, the, the Acadians that were coming from, kicked out of Nova Scotia and pushed down here, all those people still live here. of the world now look into space to the moon and to the planets beyond man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred the exploration of space will go ahead whether we join in it or not and it is one of the great adventures of all time 